If you're feeling a little lonely, you want some friends, you want to spice up your life, whatever the case may be, I got you. So number one, if you want to meet new people, you got to go around more people. You're not going to meet the love of your life. You're not going to meet your friends in your bedroom. It just ain't happening. You got to go around people. So with that being said, you got to understand who you are as a person and what kind of friends you want. Like if you're a bookworm, you probably shouldn't be in the nightclub trying to find friends unless you want to get into that life. So figure out who you are first. Are you a person that you would want to be friends with? What do you have, you know, that you can add to somebody's life? What, what about you add to somebody's life? But just because you do certain things that other people don't do it, don't make you less than. Like I said, if you're a bookworm, you probably shouldn't be trying to find friends in a nightclub. You should probably go to a library. You can join a little book club. You, you might. The lady giving out library cards might think y'all, you know, compatible to be friends, you know. For the ladies, y'all might find a dude in the book club. It just don't matter. You got to know what type of you people you want to be around. Know who you are. Know your crowd. And then go towards that crowd. If you're in a nightclub, the same thing applies. If you're a party animal, you probably not going to find your favorite people in the library. That don't mean it's, it's not going to happen, but it's just not likely. Know who you are. Know what you're looking for and go towards that. So being around people, finding those shared activities, those shared interests, that is a good way to start. But also understand that just because two people or multiple people are doing the same thing, that don't make y'all compatible. A lot of my friends do things or they live a certain way that I wouldn't live, but that don't make us you know, less than, better than each other. It's just the way it is. Some people do things that I don't agree with, but those core values, those beliefs still are rock solid. And that's what allows us to be friends, that humor level. It's just certain things and it, it just, it is what it is. But finding out who you want to be around and going to those places, you might find somebody on a hiking trail. Like, yo, bro, that's some pretty cool shoes. They're pretty comfortable. It's like, yeah, bro, I got it from here and here and here. It's like, bro, I like that shirt. That's some of the best friendships ever. Do you know how many friendships I got from a simple compliment? And I'm going to use that word very lightly because everybody who compliments me, everybody I interact with is not my friend. But they're cool people and I can acknowledge them as somebody I know. But I like to keep a small circle and you, you have to do more than compliment me to be a friend. But it's a good start. But I have worn certain jackets, certain pieces of clothes like like spam them because I knew people was going to compliment them. And mostly everybody who complimented my stuff, they had that same vibe that I was looking for, that free spirit, you know? And I would purposely wear those things because I knew I was going to have cool people compliment me and I would be able to connect with them. Did I make all those people my friends? Absolutely not. But those things can go a long way. Being in the right place, I wouldn't say at the right time, but we'll just say it just, just for the, the roll of the tongue. Being in the right place at the right time and just being open and receptive to things, seeing things. You might see somebody, you might like their shirt. You compliment, yo, bro, that's a cool shirt. Man, what up, my dog? Y'all might sit there and chill out the whole night. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might become friends at school and start walking to class together. And then they introduce you to these people and you introduce them to these people and things just happen. But it's all about being in the right place and doing those things to get friends. You got to be around people and you got to do something. You just can't be over in the corner of the room just look and expect that somebody to want to be your friend. You got to make some type of initiative, but it's not as hard as people think. Now, also understand that everybody you meet is not going to be your friend. And please do not force yourself into friendships just because you are lonely. Just because somebody compliment you and you feel like they could be your friend, that don't mean they're going to be your friend. So don't force that upon yourself. Do a little bit of you know, analysis and things like that and figure out if they worthy of being your friend. But that, that leads me, you know, to the, to the point of just people remembering you when you add value to their life. When you listen to people, when you compliment people, when you invite people to things, people remember that. Everybody knows how, or I hope everybody knows, just for that character development. Everybody knows how bad it feels to be the third friend in a group of three. That feels horrible. But when that one person, you know, you tie your shoes and everybody walking away from you and they wait for you. My God. That person who always purposely includes you in a conversation because they know that you feel left out, my God, those are the people that make the best friends. You can be that person. Somebody can be that person for you. Those are the people that you're going to value the most because they care about how you feel. You add something to their life, they're going to add something to your life. Those are your best friends. Now, I remember I received a compliment from one of my greatest friends. I will never forget this. I could have 
dementia, I would never forget this. But one of my bros told me, man, man, you make life interesting. I said, huh? He said, bro, you make life interesting. The way you talk, the way you think, it's like it just adds something to life. It's like, that's why I mess with you. I said, bro, thank you. Thank you. We are just having a normal conversation. But it's those things, people that can make you feel good. When you have the opportunity to big somebody up, when you have the opportunity to uplift somebody's spirit, make them feel heard, listen to them, bro, that is the greatest thing you do. You can do. Now, what you don't want to do is get ran over just because somebody say something, you agreeing with it, and just because somebody believes something, you believe in it. No, stand on your own and have a backbone. But stroking one's ego, making somebody feel heard, listening to people, Bro, oh, it is a cheat code to being cool with people, to forming friendships, relationships, anything like that. It's all about adding value to somebody's life. That is the basic recipe for having a friendship or getting friends, getting relationships, being around people, interacting with them, adding value to their life. It's literally that simple. Be around people, interact with people, add value to their life you do that you gonna have friends so when well, school is out but if you're in school you know you want to be cool with somebody give them a simple compliment a simple what's up it's easy for dudes we literally be like yo what's up bro fist bump now we cool it is what it is you know what i'm saying when you're trying to be friends with ladies it's a little bit different but i value my female relationships you know what i'm saying females be cool females be tripping Dudes be tripping too. Dudes be acting like females. Females be acting like dudes. Everybody be tripping. It's life. But you know what I'm saying? I, I know where I stand with my people. I mess with my people. And making friends is not that hard. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's pretty easy. We make it a little bit too hard on ourselves. But... Quality is better than quantity. I will say that. One good friend is better than 10 garbage ones. It's just that simple. So let that be your relief. You know, if you feel like you're striking out and you're not making friends and you don't have a bunch of friends, cool. You know how much energy you can save by not having 20 people that don't have your best interest in mind? It's a good thing. Be your own friend. Treat yourself like a friend. Everything you want to do for a friend, do that for yourself. And I guarantee you'll have a friend. It'll never leave you. It'll be yourself. And somebody will want to be around that eventually. It'll be alright though. But yeah, man. That's the best way I could put it. Be in the right place. Interact with people. And always set yourself up. You know, for growth. You go out with some friends. Yo, bro, when I'm going to see you again. You know what I'm saying? What y'all doing this weekend? Set it up. Exchange those contacts. If you meet somebody and you don't have contact to them, how you expect to do anything? It's just that simple. But yeah, bro. Let's be friends. I love you. Take care of yourself. Go meet some people. Go do something. Go hiking this weekend. Go fishing this weekend. Go to the gym. Talk to somebody. You never know where to take you. And you never know who know who. And you never know who somebody is until you know. That'll take you a long way in life. A long way. I stopped and had a conversation with somebody one time and found out they was a producer. They played guitar, they played piano. Offered me free guitar piano lessons. I still have that contact anytime I need it. Yo, bro. Yo, what's up, man? You never know. But that's all I'm going to leave you with, man. I love you. I appreciate you. Y'all take care of yourselves. Peace out.